you guys, I want to share a miraculous healing story with you. So I just got into Miami right now after 10 hours of flying today. And the flight attendant on my trip is suffering from lower back pain, which I used to deal with for a long time. And I, I told her that I used to deal with that. And so she asked me, how did you treat it? And it gave me the opportunity to tell her I didn't treat it very well, but I was healed from it miraculously, supernaturally. And um, she, it turns out she's a believer and um, hearing this story helps build the faith. I know when I hear healing stories from other people, when God touches somebody and heals them, it helps to build my faith. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. Um, my particular story, I had really, it was for a very obvious reason, um, chiropractor took a, an x-ray of my body and found out that I have a missing bone in my spine. It just never formed at birth. And because of that, I have nerves exposed and maybe the nerves were being pressed on or touched. And so for three days, I was in such excruciating pain because nerve pain was shooting, eh, not even shooting, it was just a constant nerve pain all the way down to my lower calves on both sides of my legs. And I couldn't sleep at night. It was impossible to sleep through this pain. So on the second night, I am still awake and I'm starting to enter this state of beyond exhaustion. And it's four o'clock in the morning I'm totally miserable. I cannot stay still because there was no position that was comfortable. I was moving and turning around constantly. Finally, I get out of bed and I say, God, I just want your presence. Um, I feel like I haven't really been talking to you much for the last couple of days because I've been in such an extreme state of pain. But now it's four o'clock in the morning and I just wanted his presence and I wanted to just get down on the floor in like a humbled worship position and just worship him. Um, which I wasn't able to do physically. I tried to get down on the floor and it hurt so bad and I could not even get down on my knees and I, I'm just staying in this awkward position. And I said, God, you know what I'm trying to do? This is the best I can offer. And I said, God, but I just, I just want to be in front of your throne right now. I just want to be aware of your presence that you are here. And I started to I don't even think I was really planning to do this. I'm just going along with the ideas that came to my mind, which was to thank him that I have legs because even though they were hurting me so bad, I could still walk and they were operational and I started to thank him for that. Suddenly, I have this really strong thought, command the spirit to leave. And I had to assume that this thought came from God because it did not occur to me. I even debated it when I, when I heard that. I didn't hear it, but it was a thought. And I was like, spirit, it's, I mean, and I'm justifying it. I know why I have pain. My nerves are exposed. I have this missing bone. Um, it's very physical. It's not spiritual. I'm debating this. And then I, and then again, the thought came, command the spirit to leave. Okay. And I remembered this woman in scripture who went to Jesus for healing and she had a very physical problem too. And she went to all these doctors, right? But when it says that Jesus healed her out of her came a spirit of infirmity, a spirit of illness, you know? And I just thought, no, this pain can't be a spiritual attack but um I decided to to do it I mean if this is what God is saying then let's do it so I I'm not even speaking loud because it's four in the morning my husband is sleeping in the bed so I'm saying it kind of in a soft voice which also surprises me because I don't know everything about this I, I thought you always have to be loud maybe or well, I'm learning anyway. And I just kind of whisper any spirit of the most high that opposes the most high God, um, who may be causing this pain in my back right now. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. And as soon as I finish saying Jesus, the pain slips out of my back. 
and I was in so much shock. I couldn't even, I didn't even move my awkward position. I'm still holding it because I was, I couldn't believe I was totally pain free. And, and then this little doubt seeps in immediately that, okay, you, if you move, the pain's gonna come back. And I was afraid that if I just moved, it would tweak it and the pain would come back. So I stayed in that position for like a full minute. And, and I, was, I was just reveling in being pain free. It was the most, it was the most amazing feeling um, just to not have pain. And finally, I, I got a little brave and I, I started to move and then I stood up and once I stood up and started touching the ground and jumping up, I said, oh my gosh, I'm healed. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I can't believe I'm healed. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to go to bed right now uh, because I hadn't slept in almost two full days or more. I, it was just, I climbed right back into bed, slept all the way through the morning and, um, and I've been pain free ever since. And it's been a year. So I told the story to the flight attendant and she's like, well, I, I hope this can happen to me too. And I said, yes, I, I do too. Let's just ask God to do it. And I don't know why sometimes we pray for healing and we get this miracle. And sometimes we pray in faith for healing and maybe God says no, maybe it happens later. Maybe, maybe we're, we've got too much doubt. I, I don't really understand fully, but I'm learning, but I didn't feel like I had that much faith in that moment, to be honest. I mean, I really was debating about this being a spiritual thing, but um, following through at work, maybe God is teaching me something. So I'll share one more story real quick that happened actually a month before that. This was also a lesson. Um, I had a debilitating, debilitating migraine. I was on my knees in my bedroom. This is the middle of the day. Um, excruciating pain. Like, I was moaning. I was just like, uh, like I hated it. I just wanted it to go. And I was feeling so queasy and I was holding a bag and I'm on my knees in my worship spot in like the little spot next to the, the side of my bed that I like to go to the Lord at. And I'm in that spot because I'm just thinking this is the best place to be. <laughs> this is where I do a lot of praying. This is where I want to be. Um, but I'll be honest, I didn't ask for healing because I didn't really, f I, I was afraid that I was going to ask for him to take it away and it wasn't going to happen. And then I would just feel dejected and I didn't want to deal with that. So I decided I wasn't going to ask for healing, then I won't feel rejected when it doesn't work. And I will just bear through this misery because it will eventually pass, it's a migraine. And so here I am, my husband walks into the room. He's like, are you okay? Do I need to get you anything? I'm like, no, I'm just, uh. And he walks out of the room. Right after he walks out of the room, this thought comes to my mind. Do you want me to heal you? I had to guess that this is another thought from the Lord because why would I ask myself do you want me to heal you like that? This is coming from Jesus. And it wasn't until later that I remembered the scripture that in the, um, when Jesus goes to the pool of Bethesda and that paralyzed man is there, what does Jesus say? He says, do you want to be made well? And um, so I'm hearing this question, do you want me to heal you? And I paused like this real heavy, like, did I just hear that? Again, when I say hear, I mean, my ears aren't actually receiving sound, but did he really just ask that? And I go, what? Like, I, I was almost too surprised to, to answer. And again, do you want me to hear, heal you? Comes again. So I go, yes, Lord, I do. Jesus, please heal me. And as soon as I said that prayer, oh, it left. And it wasn't a gradual, it just lifted and left. And so I just stood up, I go, wow, God, thank you, I'm healed. So I walk down the stairs immediately and my husband looks up and he sees me coming down the stairs smiling, totally fine, and he goes, are you okay? I'm like, I guess so, I think Jesus just healed me. Um, this is what happened. 
Uh, so uh, I hope that these stories ignite something in you because you might be listening to the saying, I need healing. And you might even have been asking for healing for a long time and it probably sounds frustrating when you hear stories like this, like it happened so easily. Yeah, I get it. I've prayed for healing before too during times that it didn't, I've prayed healing for other people and nothing's happening. Um, but I can't just assume that nothing's happening. In the spiritual, something could be started. Just keep going to God. Um, I've learned my lesson about that. Just keep knocking. Don't ever stop knocking. Just keep going to him and keep going to his word. Keep being fed through scripture. We need it to survive. And keep being obedient to God. He's our maker. He's our creator. We owe him everything. So continue to, to reflect on our lives and say, Lord, is there any way that I'm not honoring you? And, and get rid of the sin in your life. This is so important. Um, and sometimes, sometimes it has to happen before we can get to the healing. And sometimes God just says, I'm going to heal you. And now you have a choice. Are you going to follow me? Or are you going to go back to following the enemy? We have to choose who we're going to serve. Um, I think uh, I think that my back healing came from going to the Lord and thanking him and, and going to him with gratefulness. I think that was kind of the lesson in there for that. Um, thanking him for my legs, even though I was in pain. Um, that's not something I'd ever really thought to do before, I guess. And it came to me in that moment. And then the healing came right after that. So I'm just going to pray for you real quick. Uh, Lord, if there's any area of, of the listener's life right now that you are just um, waiting to enter, that you want to be a part of in their life, that they haven't quite turned over to you yet, if you would just give revelation, that they would know um, what step that they need to take. Um, sometimes it seems like that might be where you're guiding us and then the healing happens. And Lord, if there's a, a level of faith that needs to be spiked to and reached, we just pray just like the, the father who came to you, Jesus, asking for you to heal their child. Yes, Lord, I believe and help my faith. And um, I'm sure there's things that I'm not even covering, Lord, but I trust that because you know this person's life and you know them intimately, and um, you want uh, them to be close to you. I just ask that you, Holy Spirit, would give them revelation and that your healing power, Jesus, would come over them and lift the burden of pain or suffering or whatever it is off of their lives. Um, and if there is any spirit of the enemy causing infirmity or pain in this person's life, I speak to you now and I command you in the name of Jesus, by his authority, to leave this person now. Go out of them and never return. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Um, actually, I think I have to go. My crew is meeting downstairs, and we're going to go across the street to eat here in Miami. So um, be blessed. And I will be making some more videos because many more supernatural, mind-blowing things have happened way beyond these stories that I just told you. I can't wait to share, you, uh, with, to share them with you. So stay tuned. Bye.